SailPoint software engineers are making up to $211,000 in total compensation right now. But here's the problem. There are nearly 4 million unfilled cybersecurity positions globally, and SailPoint expertise is one of the rarest skills in the field. The demand is so insane and the supply so tiny that companies are making desperate hiring decisions. Well, how desperate, you say? Well, I actually, sadly, just placed a fake candidate at $90 an hour at one of my clients. And this is not some made-up ChatGPT anecdote. I actually did this. So the guy interviewed so well, the client basically just canceled every interview on his calendar and said, let's get him right in here. By Friday of the first week, we discovered he was a complete fraud. This is what happens when demand outstrips supply by such an extreme margin that companies stop doing basic due diligence. This video breaks down why SailPoint has become one of the most lucrative and most fake skills in cybersecurity and what that means for your career. Now, to understand why someone would risk their entire reputation faking SailPoint expertise, you need to understand the economics driving the market. On one side, exploding demand. The average data breach now costs companies $4.88 million, according to the 2024 IBM Panaman study. And 16% of all breaches involve stolen or compromised credentials, usernames, passwords, access tokens. This is exactly what SailPoint prevents. It's an identity and access management platform. Think of it as the control center for who can access what in your entire company. When someone joins your company, SailPoint provisions their accounts. When they leave, it revokes access. When they change roles, it adjusts permissions automatically. Without proper IAM, you get what happened at Capital One. A former employer retained access and stole data on 100 million customers. So the market is responding. The global IAM market is projected to grow from 20.3 billion dollars in 2024 to 26 billion by 2029. That's 8.4% annual growth. Some projections are even more aggressive. $82.2 billion by 2034. Every company moving to cloud, every merger requiring system integration, every compliance regulation getting stricter, all of it creates more demand for IAM expertise. Now, here's the other side of the equation, supply. There are millions of Java developers globally. There are only thousands of qualified SailPoint professionals. SailPoint even launched a free certification program targeting 100,000 new professionals over three years just to try to close that gap. That's not a marketing initiative. That's an emergency response to a talent crisis. When you have exploding demand and artificially constrained supply, two things happen. One, salary skyrocket. Two, fraud starts slowly appearing. You don't see this with technical project managers because there's a massive supply of them. Let me tell you exactly how desperate this market has become. We had a sale point roll open, $90 an hour. That's roughly $187,000 annual equivalent for a contractor position. The resume looked spotless. Seven years of SailPoint experience, Java expert, multiple enterprise implementations. This was the unicorn every cybersecurity recruiter is hunting for. He gets on the interview smooth, confident, drops every buzzword correctly, talks about aggregation, provisioning policies, life cycle events all the right terminology. The client was so impressed, they made a decision I always tell hiring managers never to make. They canceled every other interview. No second opinions, no comparison candidates, and critically, no hands-on technical test. They locked in the offer. $90 an hour, start date set like that. Day one, morning stand-up, camera's off. Okay, maybe he's a little camera shy or it's not working, okay. Day two, stand up again, camera's still off. By day three and four, the pattern is clear. This guy is doing everything possible not to be seen again. Then the real smoking gun appears. It's supposed to be a US-based role, working with a domestic team on sensitive security infrastructure. By Thursday, the team has that sinking feeling. They start actually checking his work. No meaningful code commits. No real sale point configuration work. Nothing a legitimate engineer at his claimed level would produce in four days. Just vague Slack messages, working on it, making progress. Should have an update soon. By Friday of his first week, he was terminated. Not months after, not after a failed project, five business days. And of course, I didn't get paid for that either. Here's what that desperation hire cost. Five days at $90 an hour, $3,600. One week project delay on critical security work, approximately $15,000. Restarting the recruitment process from scratch, approximately $8,000. Team disruption and lost productivity, approximately $5,000. Total damage, 
approximately $31,600. And this is actually a best case scenario failure. The only reason this fraud attempt happened at all is because the supply demand imbalance has made hiring managers desperate enough to skip basic verification. When there are 20 open sale point roles and only three qualified candidates in your market, you start making emotional decisions. You see a great interview performance and think, finally, let's lock this guy down before someone else grabs him. And the fraud knows it. So why is sale point experience so rare that people are literally faking it to grab these 90 an hour or $211,000 roles? Three structural barriers keep supply artificially low. Barrier one, it's a niche enterprise platform. You can't learn SailPoint by building side projects at home. It's not open source. There's no free tier for tinkering. You need access to an actual enterprise environment, which means you need to already be working at a company that uses it. So you're probably saying, well, this creates a catch-22. You need SailPoint experience to get hired, but you need to get hired to get the SailPoint experience. Barrier two, the technical foundation is steep. Now, SailPoint is built on Java, needs solid object-oriented programming skills, understanding of REST APIs, SQL database knowledge, and familiarity with enterprise authentication protocols like SAML or OAuth. This isn't a low-code tool you could pick up in a weekend bootcamp. It requires real software engineering fundamentals plus identity security expertise. Barrier three, certification costs money and time. The most direct path to proving your skills is through SailPoint's official certification program. Training courses range from $1,500 to $3,000 per certification. For someone trying to break into the field, that's a significant upfront investment with no guarantee of immediate ROI. While millions of people are learning Python, JavaScript, or React through free resources, the pipeline of new SailPoint talent remains a trickle. Meanwhile, demand keeps accelerating. Regulations like GDPR, in Europe, are hitting companies with massive fines for access control failures. Google actually just paid $57 million in 2019. Amazon paid $877 million in 2021. All this stacks pressure on one part of the stack. Do you know exactly who has access to what? And can you prove it? That's sale point territory. So you've got exploding regulatory pressure, exploding cloud and SaaS complexity, and exploding remote workforce and a tiny pipeline of people who can actually design, implement, and maintain SailPoint properly. That's why you're seeing $90 an hour contracts get handed out after a single smooth conversation. That's why someone overseas with no real deliverables can sneak into US-based security role, at least for a week. And it's why if you're legit and you're willing to put in two to three years of focused effort, SailPoint could be one of the highest ROI bets in your entire tech career. Okay, let's talk concrete numbers. I'm gonna give you a realistic salary ladder for identity and sale point work in the US market backed by compensation aggregators and job postings. So tier one, we have IAM sale point adjacent roles like entry level. These are your IAM analysts, support engineers, or junior roles at companies running sale point, Okta, or other IAM tools. The typical range, 85,000 to $120,000 base salary Sometimes contract roles are 45 to 65 an hour, kind of in that range, but you're accelerating very quickly. Here, you're not architecting the whole system, but you're inside the ecosystem, processing access requests, basic provisioning, maybe some basic workflows. Once you can actually write Java logic for rules and connectors, work with aggregation and provisioning, build and troubleshoot lifecycle events, integrate with HR systems, directories, and apps, you move into the mid-level sale point engineer territory. Okay, now we're talking, you're getting up to the $130,000 to $160,000 total, contractors in the 80 to 110 an hour, depending on market and urgency of the company. This is the level where there are way more open roles than qualified people. And tier three, you have the senior sale point engineer and architect. This is where that $211,000 number comes from. On levels.fyi and similar sites, you'll see senior lead architect roles at large enterprises in the $173,000 to $211,000 total comp range. In very hot markets or with bonus and equity, some are way higher. These people are responsible for overall identity strategy and architecture. They're designing the governance model, ensuring regulatory compliance, and they are leading multi-year sell point implementations or migrations. Company logic is simple. A simple major breach is $4.88 million average cost. A successfully implemented IAM program 
dramatically reduces that risk. So paying a senior sale point architect $211,000 to prevent a potential $5 million plus problem is a total bargain. And because there are so few people at this level, they can command top of the market pay, flexible arrangements, and they're constantly being recruited out of there. Okay, so if you're watching this thinking, I'm not trying to fake it, but I'd like to be one of those few people who can actually do this job, here's a realistic two to three year roadmap. Step one, you need to build the technical foundation. So months zero to six, you need the three pillars. That is Java, SQL, and APIs. Step two, learn the identity concepts. So months three to nine, in parallel, you start absorbing IAM fundamentals. Authentication versus authorization, RBAC, role-based access control, and least privileged principles. Provisioning, deprovisioning, and access reviews. You can learn a lot of this from general IAM content, not just SailPoint. And step three, get into the SailPoint ecosystems. So months six to 18, here's where you start differentiating yourself. Join SailPoint Compass community, go through SailPoint Identity University content, aim for an entry-level certification at this point. Even if your company doesn't run SailP, you can look for an IAM analyst roles at companies that do. Take adjacent roles, access management, identity support, maybe even governance analyst. Your goal is simple. Touch SailPoint in production, even if you're not the architect yet. And step four, here's where you're going to specialize into an engineer or architect role. This is years two to three. Once you've written some real SailPoint rules, worked with connectors and aggregations, survived at least one go live or major upgrade, you start branding yourself clearly as a SailPoint engineer. This is when $90 an hour contract roles become realistic. $150,000 to $200,000 full-time comp is on the table. And that's where recruiters start begging you to talk to them. So here's the big takeaway. SailPoint is a textbook example of what happens when the risk is huge, the tool is complex, and the talent pool is tiny. You get $211,000 salaries, $90 an hour contracts, and you get people faking entire careers to grab one of those seats. If you're a job seeker, the opportunity is massive if you're willing to do it the hard way. Build the fundamentals, get into the ecosystem, earn the certs, stack real verifiable experience. If you're a hiring manager or recruiter, remember this story. We had a $90 an hour sale point expert who interviewed so well, the client canceled every other interview and he's fired by Friday of his first week. If this video saves you from one hire like that, it's already paid for itself. Always keep multiple candidates in play. Always do real hands-on exercises and never confuse talking about SELP with actually being able to deliver in. Okay, and if you ever worked with someone who you're 99% sure was faking their technical experience, drop the story in the comments. No names, of course. Just the red flags, the role, and what happened. If you want more breakdowns of rare, high-paying tech skills like this, hit subscribe and check out the video on the screen that dives into another niche role where supply and demand is totally out of whack right here. Thanks, and we'll catch you guys next time.